So what I'm doing here is just obviously chopping up some of the VNX 18mm Traveller baits. And I'm just going to soak those in some of the VNX bait activator. Leave that for a few days, real soaking. And uh, we shall hopefully get some real attractant in the water. I don't need too much, just a nice glug and then shake it all up. I'm all coated and leave that to soak in for a few days. And what I've done with the red hot bullet, same thing. So I've chopped up a load of halves there or chopped them into halves, soaked them in the red hot bullet glug and we'll just leave them to soak up over the next couple of days if it's still a little bit wet just before I go then I can just add in a little bit of the um, stick mix I've got some of the stick mix um, just to soak up any excess fluid if need be because the um, these activator liquids aren't PVA friendly they are water based so they're brilliant obviously at this time of year um, but not brilliant for PVA so um, what we'll do is we'll leave that to soak in and then as I said I've got the red hot bullet stick mix that I can add into the mix just to soak up that last bit of moisture and the same for the VNX and we can uh, hopefully get some real attractant in the water not too much obviously this time of year I'll probably look to put maybe three or four halves of a boilie into a PVA stick just to give them that something in the water. And then I've got some of my VNX wafters that I'm going to use on the day. So I've got these ones which are just the plain wafters. They haven't been soaked in anything as yet. Um, so that's just obviously that we'll do it as it comes. And then I've got some that I've pre-glugged in the VNX liquid. And I'll leave those again just to soak in it um, over the next, you can leave these for weeks, months, however long you like really, but just to soak up some of that extra flavor and try and make that the most attractive thing on the lake bed. Right, so some of the baits I'm going to be using um, on my trip in a week's time. So it's Monday today. I'm going fishing on Saturday, so I'm just preparing some of the baits, trying to get them to soak up some of the liquids that we've got. Um, this is the the boilies that I've been chopping up into the mix. So these are the salted traveller boilies. Uh, these are the 18 mil. They're basically freeze, uh, freezer baits. Um, but they're coated rather than being frozen they're coated in salt and that preserves them just as well so obviously it saves on space in your freezer and then all I've been doing is just breaking them up you can see hopefully the content of them they've got a bit of everything in a little bit of bird food they smell really nice you've got sort of a chilli um, some sweetness in there and the mix that goes with them, this red hot bullet activator liquid, the smell of this is absolutely incredible. A real sweet smell to it. Something I think the, the carp are really going to love, especially at this time of year. And then the hook baits, I'll either be using one of the um, traveller baits on the hook. Um, either as a critically balanced I might drill out a little bit of that and put a bit of cork in there to critically balance it or potentially top it with one of the red hot bullet pop-ups so again smell really nice with sweet smell going on um, and then you've just got the pop-up itself so I'm sure I'll probably take a small slither of that off and fish it sort of snowman rig style um, so that's the stick mix there so again if I want to just dry up 
soak up any of this liquid that I've put into the mix. You can see, obviously, at the moment, I've literally only just put this in there. So it hasn't really had a chance to do anything as yet, but in time, that will soak up into the boilies, give that a little bit of extra attractant in the water. Um, and if there is any liquid left in there, I can just put a little bit of the stick mix in there just to soak it up. But I don't want to put too much, obviously, in the water at this time of year. Um, the carp, although the temperatures outside are still only 10, 12 degrees during the day, they are the carp are going to start to turn off. They are going to go into a bit of a sort of hibernation mode. And obviously, they don't hibernate, but just to slow down a bit they are cold blooded so when the water temperature drops they will become a lot less active so you don't want them having too much food on the on the bottom to pick from maybe just a couple of bits maybe even just your hook bait on its own but um, I want to try and get a little bit of this attractant in the water so a couple of these in a PVA bag with a the bottom bait on there <laughs> Possibly, as I said, with one of these pop tops on there as well, just as a, a bit of extra attractant. Bates boss Uber and I arrived on site at 7am just as the sun was rising. We had had 40 mile an hour winds overnight and these were still evident whilst we were setting up. After a quick look over the lake these were the swims we chose to fish. Hi everyone it's David from Successful Baits. I'm here on a day session at Willowcroft Fisheries in Cambridgeshire. Um, it's the middle of December so we're hopeful we can get some fish out but uh, obviously it's going to be probably a bit slower. Um, the wind is blowing a bit of a gale this morning and it's quite chilly. Um, it's probably about 8-9 degrees at the moment so we're, we're assuming the action is going to be a bit slower um, but hopeful we can get a few out for you. slide some cork into it and basically critically balance it. Um, I, throughout the summer months I've been fishing a snowman rig generally. I don't want too much, too big a bait in the water so I'm just going to drill out this and just have a critically balanced bottom bait instead. I've basically drilled out a hole and I'll just slide the cork in there, double check the depth so it's gone quite a, about halfway in. And I can trim that off. Right. So I've got the cork in there, I just pick a, one of the marks on the cork as a 
guide as to where to cut it, so I'm going to cut it just there. And that should now fit perfect lot, uh, distance into the hole there. And just pull that out. Obviously don't want to push it in too far before I've got the bait ready to go. is uh, an IQD rig so I'm just going to thread that on and then just slide the boilie and the cork down onto that pull the bait floss all the way through and then that's pretty much ready to go. that off and then I've just blobbed it off with a lighter so that hook bait is now ready to go and that's one of the Traveller red hot bullets and what I've got is some of this glug boilies and as I said I've just put in a bit of the uh, stick mix just to soak up the, the last bit of the moisture This was Uva's offering, new to the range for 2019, the seafood boilie, with a bag of matching crumb. After a few hours of no interest, I decided to change my hook bait to a VNX snowman setup, something that had been brilliant for me all summer. With the baits recast, it was back to the waiting game. So we've had a mirror carp out, £9.12 ounces, um, lovely looking fish, missing an eye but other than that it was um, pretty much perfect. 
Um, so I had it out on the VNX baits. So I was using a, an 18 mil traveler bait. And all I've done is I've sliced a bit of that off and then topped it with one of the pink VNX pop-ups. Um, I'd had a just one of the plain sort of base mix, mix wafters out there previously. Hadn't had any interest on that. Um, thought I'd put the pink topper on there as a bit of a sighter. And within about 15, 20 minutes of it being out there, the uh, rod, left hand rod went screaming off. So uh, it's um, pretty chilly out here. Uh, the although the sun's out, it's we've got a bit of a bit of a breeze, quite a breeze coming across. Um, and yeah, obviously that's bringing the, the temperature down quite a lot. So we're hopeful we can get some more out, but. Um, we're, we're here till about three, half three sort of time, and it's just gone uh, about half past twelve now. So we shall see how we get on, but good start so far. It remained quiet over the next few hours again, so I decided to mirror my earlier tactics and freshen up my hook bait. My baited spot was tight to the far margin, just to the right of the port cabin. Spot on. So we're into the last couple of hours now. Um, just rebaited both of my rods, got them back out on the spots. Just thought I'd freshen things up again, see if that will maybe nick another bite. But um, yeah, last couple of hours, we'll see how things go. As the rain started to fall, Uver had a run on his seafood boilie. As we slipped the net under his £10 common, my left hand rod offered a drop back bite, a double hook up just as the day was closing. £10 common and an £11 10 ounce mirror, a brilliant way to finish.